Hello, sexy people on Thursday. Right, four slides today, and really all connected because everything in the world is connected. But I wouldn't know how to put them together. You can have a go if you like. I've put this up just because I found it very interesting. Apple, the company that makes pud things, versus Amazon, profit in billions of dollars per quarter, going back to 2009. So these quarters, the sticky up blues are Apple, and the not very sticky up yellows are Amazon. And that is the difference between Amazon and Apple in the amount of profit that they make each quarter. If you follow the link and read the article, you can find about the different mentality behind the operations and how they're both dominating their own markets but in different ways with different plans. But isn't that a huge differential? Amazing, really. So that's it for number one. This is from Mish's blog and again from his relationship with the youwalkaway.com man, the chap that set up um, uh, a company to help Americans walk away from their homes. Basically, you went to them as a one-stop shop and they supplied all the information that you would need to just send the keys back to the bank. Okay. And of all their clients that did walk away, they've divided them up into this pie chart in their age bracket, the age bracket of Americans that did walk away. Please select your age bracket. So I imagine it was an interactive graph at one time. The top left kind of purpley blue, 34%, by far the biggest, was the 50 to 59 age bracket. So the 50-year-olds were the biggest bracket. Gold um, color, 25% was the next, and they were the 40 to 49-year-olds, the 40-year-olds, 40, 40 to 49. Next was the older fellows, the 60 to 69, which is all quite interesting, isn't it? So the 60-something-year-olds um, were third, with the, the 30 to 39, the younger people, at, at 17%. And 70 to 79 were 3% of it. But the main walk-awayers were the 50 to 59-year-olds. I found that vaguely interesting. And again, it's quite an interesting article to read because underneath this is an awful lot, uh, just a list of statistics from the walk-away man about the type of people that walked away and the reasons that they gave for why they walked away from their mortgage. And it's all very interesting. Right, again from Mish with the relationship he's got with some fellow that likes to make these charts about gasoline use and you usually there's different types of um, product use in there but it, this has been um, put right down to simply gasoline usage and this is in summer months uh, June July and August for the various years going back to 1991 so you've got the blue red and green for June July and August for each of those months and plotted on the this chart and the the um, the the effect what we can see is very clear from 1991 all the way up to 2007 it's bottom left top right it's just clearly rising and rising and rising top 2007 something happened and then it started coming down but with a little kick up in 2010 it's written on the chart that that was from a stimulus effect and exactly what it was we we don't really know or care but it did have a little kick up in 2010 for some reason and then it has continued its descent now this is gasoline usage in the summer months and they've compared across and august gasoline use is the same as it was in 2002 and uh, June's usage is the same as 2002, with July's the same as 2001. So we've been to the top of the peak on our summer vacation, and we're coming down again. And we've 
gone. We, we're going up to 2007, and then we're just coming back and back and back and back and back. And now we're going down the hill, and we're at 2002 and 2001. And it really does go to show that there is some great change has come to pass in the American market as a whole, the economy as a whole, that gasoline usage, beside for that little kick up in 2010, is has reached a peak and it is over that peak and going down the other side. The last chart I've pulled off Fred um, again, it's really quite a surprising chart. It doesn't fit in with the, any of the others, but I have these tabs open and I look for kind of links that I can link things together and make a bit of a story each time. But these four were just ones that I thought were interesting, but I couldn't link them in with anything. So they're just individual ones on their own. For, so from the St. Louis Fred labor force participation rate for men labor force participation rate for men the amount of men that are working in that are working basically let's keep it at that going back to 1945 going back to the end of the second world war where 86 percent of men were working and it's just such a consistent dropping down and you can see it's taken a real acceleration over the last five years since the Great Recession. But the whole trend is top left, bottom right. And now it's down to 70% from 86, 87, down to 70%. But consistent, extremely consistent over that extremely long period since the end of the Second World War. With, as I say, an acceleration over this Great Recession period. I don't, why? Why Why are so fewer men participating in the economy, working? I don't know. So I'll just, can I go around? Yeah. So we've done Amazon versus Apple's profits. We've done the age groups of the people that sent their keys back, that walked away from their mortgage, from their home. The gasoline usage, which reached a peak and is on its way down again. And that very strange one from the St. Louis Fed, a labor force particip participation rate for men, consistently coming down top left, bottom right, since the Second World War. Leave it with you. Thanks, bye.